What is up team? Welcome back to the work method and welcome to day 21 of the Max Out program. We have a full body workout in the books for today. Let's hop into our warm up and then we'll jump into that first movement. We got a three, and a three minute AMRAP warm up of five push ups, five body weight squats, and 10 arm circles in each direction. So, normal push ups here on your hands, going down, chest to chest, drive up. You can also do that from your knees if you need to. Then we're going five body weight squats, get nice and low, try to keep the heels down. And then we're going 10 arm circles forward, 10 in reverse. And we're gonna cycle through that for three minutes, team, just to get nice and loose. Let's get the timer set up. We got a 10 second countdown. Let's do it, guys. Five, two, one. Let's do it. Cycle through as many rounds as you can for three minutes. Five push up. Knock off those cobwebs after a couple of rest days. Chest a bit. Once you're through, I'm going right back to the top. Push up. One minute left, team. Again, some blood in there. Five seconds, team. Two, one. All right, let's do it. All right, so week five, we are building on last week and the week before. So we got dumbbell bench press to start us off. You're gonna need a flat bench here. You can also do this on the floor, although that's not ideal because you get less range of motion. We got the same concept that we've been working through the whole program, max reps. Our rep range target is between 10 and 15 reps. If last week you got 14 or 15 reps, I want you to increase your weight a little bit and then try to get the rep range down a bit. For me, last week I went up in weight from 55 to 60s and I got 12. So this week I'm gonna go stay with 60s and try to beat 12 reps on my first set. So, for my dumbbell bench press, we're on our back. We want a deep stretch, pause at the bottom for a split second. I'm almost thinking about putting those dumbbells in my armpits. Drive up, lock out. Reach that chest up towards the ceiling, pause, drive. Feet planted, you can also go feet up. 
You'll probably be able to lift a little bit more with the feet on the ground because you get some leg drive. Slow, pause, drive up. <clears throat> Lock out, team. Like always, the second and third set are mile rep sets, so we can take small breaks to try to match the reps from the first set. Do we have any questions, guys, before we do it? Like I said, I'm going 30s. I gotta try to beat 12 reps, so all I'm trying to get to is at least 13. Let's do it. We're gonna go in five seconds, team. <clears throat> Three, two, one, let's work. We got a minute to complete the rest, and then a minute rest. at a time team you can't expect massive jumps every week so all we got to do is beat by one I got 13 reps 60 pounds I'm gonna track that so next week I know where I'm at and what I gotta beat so now I'm gonna take a little break mid set if I need it which you should a minute rest is not enough recovery to do this again if you're really getting close to failure. So I might go 10, three. In my short break, I mean like five, 10 seconds. Team. If you guys have been here the whole program, you know the deal. I'm gonna give us a little extra rest probably after this set. It's gonna get tough. 10 seconds, team. Start setting up. Three. One, and work, come on. seconds team. We got three to go. If you run over into the break, that's okay. Come on. Come on. That's one. Here, guys. An extra 30. We got our final set. If you need a little more time, take it. Even if you run over into the next rest break, it'll just be me talking and explaining the next set. So, and if you're on replay, you can always just pause me for a second. <clears throat> 40 seconds, team. We just got one more set here. We don't necessarily need to add a lot of sets to this program because basically we are adding sets every time. Like that's basically three little mini sets. And then I'll probably have to take two breaks on this set. So that'll be three more sets basically. So almost like you're hitting one, two, three, four, five, six sets of chest presses. <clears throat> 10 seconds team. 
are gonna be rough. Get what you can. Keep your technique on point. Three, one. I might go seven, three, three, or six, four, three. Nice and low. Come on. Six. Try to go six, four, and three is my goal. As low as I can get. Pause at the bottom. Seek out that big stretch. Don't worry about the timer. Ignore the timer. I got three to go. Come on in. Let's go. Come on, slow, pause, drive, and then slow on the last rep. Woo. All right, team, that was fun. I'm gonna give us a minute and a half rest. We got dumbbell cheat rows coming up next. We don't need the bench for the moment. I can throw it out of the way, let me just Check off my tracked weights here. I got 12 again last week on these cheat rows with 45s. So that means I'm staying with the same weight. And I'm gonna try to beat those reps. So what a dumbbell cheat row is, is we get a little momentum from the legs and hips. So you're gonna take two dumbbells. Feet are pretty narrow. We're bending over as much as we can at the hips. Big stretch in the upper back, stand up. Not totally, totally stand up. You're gonna pull those shoulder blades back in together and pull right underneath the pecs like this. So it looks like this. We'll go nice and low, big stretch in the upper back, squeeze. So we get some momentum from the low back and legs to stand up and squeeze those shoulder blades back in together. <clears throat> like I said, I'm going with 45s here. We got our max rep set. And then we do mile rep matches after that. Any questions, guys? Are you good? Oh, chest and triceps are cooked. All right, we're going in five. I'm going 45s here. Three, one, let's do it. Come on. Big stretch, squeeze. Low on the way down. Come on. Thirteen for me. Woo. I'm gonna grab some straps just so I don't have to worry about my grip. The back muscles are big, strong muscles. Forearms, not so much. So your grip will probably fail before your back does. That's where straps come in handy. We can eliminate our grip fatiguing first and try to really work the back here. We got 30 seconds, team. 
We gotta match that first set with little breaks. <clears throat> Let's do it. So feel this all across the upper back. A little bit in the biceps, a little bit in the shoulders. We're going in five. Come on. Three, two, and work team. Let's go. Stretch, squeeze. I'm gonna go with an extra 15 seconds rest. Let's do it. Tracking. Same weight and reps across the board. Middle back, upper back, a little bit of biceps working here. Let's do it, 15 seconds. All right, eight, let's start strapping up. You're getting into them. Three, two, let's work. Two more. Come on, team. Oh. Oh. It's gonna be fun next week. All right, team. Let's recover. We got a minute and a half rest. A little more, really. And we got some shoulders we're hitting now. <clears throat> We're onto our tall kneeling shoulder press. So, I like to throw a, a pad down for my, my shins actually. You may want one for your knees. And we're going max reps, same concept here. I got 12 again last week. I'm going trying to beat that with 35. You're gonna sit down back on your calves. So, I'm actually rocking back and sitting like this, not up like this. Having that thing under my shins just helps me support my ankles a bit. Feels a little more comfortable. 
We're gonna come all the way down, so we want the dumbbells to touch the sides of the shoulders. We're gonna drive up, lock out, nice and slow back down. Deep stretch, a little pause at the bottom, drive up, lock out. Max reps, I gotta try to beat 12 reps with 35 pounds, team. Do we have any questions about that? We good. The reason why we're going on the knees and sitting back is it helps take out some of that arching that you're able to do when you're standing. So when you're standing, it's easy to do this. Even if you're tall kneeling, it's easy to kind of arch. If you're sitting back, just you're kind of forcing the shoulders to do the work. 20 seconds, team. Max reps. And then we match the second and third set. Same concept. Let's do it. We're going in 10, team. Come on. Three, two, one. Let's work. No breaks on the first set. 14. <sighs> Woo, I got 14. <sighs> 35 pounds for 14. All right, team, we got a match. Yeah, I'd say no, no, rest, no rest breaks on the first set because that's kind of our standard. If we're resting, then it's hard to beat that every week or it's hard to know what we did. <clears throat> if you get less than last week, that's okay too. I mean, you might not slept as well, might be a little bit more tired, you might not have the same nutrition, dehydrated. Everyone kind of has ups and downs in their training performance. So. As long as over the long run we see this upward train, that's fine, but it will be jagged sometimes. You can't always come in and perform your best. It doesn't work like that. Maybe you're getting over being sick, whatever the case may be. All right, team. We got a match. Now, I got 14. I'm gonna try to go 10 and four. Slow. Pause at the bottom. Second team, I'll give us some extra rest here if we need it. I probably am. Come on. Woo! Oh. All right, I'll give us some extra rest team for our last set, an extra 15. Come on. Last one coming up in a minute. Probably gonna have to break it up into three for me this time. Three little mini sets. Whew. How are we feeling guys? Are we good? We'll move on to some lower body work after this. So don't try to save any energy for the shoulders, chest, triceps, biceps. We are, I think, hit him again. 
forget today is an ab or arms. But yeah, we got a little bicep and tricep to finish us off today. It's all right though. We'll get a good break for the upper body, the legs. We're going in five, team. Come on, hit your reps you got on the first set. One, let's go. I'm gonna aim for eight. Trying to get four now. I'm gonna try to go eight, four, two. Oh. Don't worry about the timer, guys. I'm gonna give us some extra time. I need it. Four, I got two to go. Perfect rep on these last two. Low, drive, slow on the way down. Feel those shoulders work. Pause. I so slow on the last rep. Oh. Woo. All right. Rest team, a minute and a half. We're going to the next movement, like I said. We got some lower body work coming up. <clears throat> and we got goblet squats. I've been using wedges for this, so I'm gonna grab something to wedge my heels up on, just because that's what I've been doing the whole time. You guys don't have to, but you can if you want. It helps you keep a more upright torso and attack the quads a little more. So, goblet squats. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell here. Feet are shoulder width apart, toes pointed out. We are going down nice and slow. A little pause at the bottom, try to sit that, those hamstrings on the calves. Pause for a split second to take any momentum out of it. Keep the chest up, drop. We are not doing max reps here. We are building on one rep more than we did last week. So last week we did 10 reps and we increased the weight from the week before. This week we're gonna try to keep the weight the same and just increase a rep. So I'm gonna use a 75 pound dumbbell. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to do 11 reps. That's the goal. So, nice and slow, pause. Think about taking a deep breath into your belly to protect your spine and keep everything nice and tight. And then you exhale at the top. Take another deep inhale before you go down. That creates a nice bubble wrapping around the spine gets what we call intra-abdominal pressure happening. That's great to prevent both back injuries, but also keeps your core strong so you can use your legs. Sound good, team? All right, I'm just talking to get us some extra rest time, sorry. I'm stalling. <laughs> We're going in five. I'll just come up with shit. Two, one, so I don't have to do these squats. Let's work, come on. Eleven reps. Come on. Pause the bottom. Oh. Oh. 11. Three. Rest the minute, team.
Walk it off. Thirty seconds, team. Set two. Same weight. Another eleven reps. We're going in eight seconds. Let's do it. Three. One. Has worked. Come on. Oh. Eight seconds. Come on. Press. Woo. One more, guys. Come on. Oh, heart rates. Jack. In the 150s. Huh. Walk it off. Don't sit down. Try to clear some of that lactic acid in the legs. Helps you recover a bit. We got 23 seconds. We got our final set. Then we're on to some hamstrings. This exercise targets a bit more quads, especially with the wedges, and then we hit hammies. Glutes. Five seconds, team. Let's do it. Come on. You can take little breaks if you need it here, guys. Squeeze the quads at the top. Take a little break at eight. Oh, 15 seconds. Keep working. Three. Oh. Oh. Woo. Jesus. That's heavy. All right, team. Rest. We got a minute and a half. I'm gonna put my straps back on for this. We got dumbbell Romanian deadlift. Again, not max reps. We're just increasing to 11 reps, same weight. So I used 65 last time. I'm keeping that same weight. You're setting up feet narrow here. Toes pointed out a little bit. Shoulders back in together. Head up, arch the low back. Push those hips back. Very slight bend to your knees. That's the difference between the Romanian deadlift and a regular deadlift. A regular deadlift, your chest goes towards the ground, but you bend your knees. This, knees are almost straight. 
You're driving the hips and knees back, feeling an ultimate stretch in the hamstrings, pausing at the bottom for a split second, and then driving through those hamstrings and glutes, standing back up. Shit, it's hard to talk after that. I'm running that breath, just talking. All right, I'm going 65, 11 reps. We got 30 seconds. I'm gonna catch my breath. Excuse me. Oops. Seven seconds, team. Let's do it. Three, one. 11 reps coming up. Shoulders back and together. Feet pretty narrow. Feel that stretch. We got a minute rest. Set two out of three coming up. <laughs> Walk it off, get that heart rate down. Woo. I'm gonna need a nap after today. Fifteen seconds. Let's do it. Set up for set two. Focus on your breathing and technique. And work. Got some arms. Come on. Walk it off. Let that heart rate come down. I'm gonna hang for a second. Stretch out the chest and shoulder. Spine a bit. Ten seconds, team. Final set. Come on. Three, two, and work. Come on. Eleven reps to go. 
take it a couple seconds off the top here. Woo. the biceps and triceps we got elbows out tricep presses max reps and dumbbell bicep curls max reps so if you have a flat bench you can also do these on the floor doesn't matter I did it with 30s last time I'm gonna stay with the same weight I only got 14 I'm okay going a little higher rep on these though. So I'm gonna try to get 15 or above. And then if I do next week, I'll go up. So you're on your back, elbows flare out, dumbbells come down, touch the chest, drive back up, lock out. Slow, touch, drive. So almost like a skull crusher, but instead of coming here, elbows point out, they come to the middle of the chest and then squeeze up. Max reps and then we match. And then we're going regular dumbbell bicep curls. So standing up tall, chest up, try not to swing at all, elbows start in a locked out position, curl, nice and slow down, lock out. I think I did 30s on both of these actually. And on the curls, yeah, I only got 12. So I gotta beat 12. And on the tricep extensions, I gotta beat 14. We only have a 15 second rest between the triceps and the curls. And I believe we have a 30 second rest between the rounds. And we're going for three rounds. Got to match the reps from the first round. If we go over in time, that's okay. I'll adjust. We good? All right, guys, eight seconds. We're going tricep, flared out, elbows flared out, tricep extensions. Two, one, and work. Come on. seconds rest between movements for 25 sorry Ooh, I got 15 track your weight and reps 15 pounds with 30 curls team in three one work lock out
are good today. Oh. Oh. Two, one, rest team. Yeah, I mean, at the last time we did through curls in a regular program, I'm just looking at my past data here. We had it in September, and uh, I was doing sets of 10 with 25. So I'm up to 30s for 14. That's pretty damn good, guys. It's not, you're not gonna get insanely strong in these isolation movements, but a little rep added, tiny bit of weight added, makes all the difference. <clears throat> all right, we got tricep presses. We gotta match that first set. So a little breaks if you need it. Eight seconds. Come on. Five. Three. One, and work, come on. Seven seconds, team. We got curls in eight seconds. Short breaks to match the reps from the first set. Mile, mile sets. My reps and work. I'm slow on the way down, full extension. I'm gonna try to go 10 and four. We got one more set, team. Come on. Hang in there with me. And we have jumped off week five on the right foot. This is how you start on Monday right here. We got two weeks left in the program, team. Walk it off, shake those arms out. Oh, biceps there. Blown up. 10 seconds, team, come on. Tricep, uh, elbows flare, tricep extensions coming up. In five, three, let's work, come on.
Come on. Ten. Take it on break. I need five more. Come on. Oh, oh. oh these bicep curls are gonna crush me. Let's go. Break it up however you need to. I might go eight, four, two is the goal, I think. Five seconds, team. Quality rep, slow descent. Pause at the bottom, get that stretch. No momentum. Come on. We use the tricep. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh. Come on, team. I got three, I got three to go. Don't worry about the timer. Just work, try not to use your back. One rep at a time. All right, team, day 21 in the book. Awesome work, guys. Thanks for joining in. Way to kick off week five. We'll be back tomorrow with another full body workout. Hope to see you guys there. Have an awesome rest of your Monday. Thanks again. Bye.